We are in the fastest, biggest part of the world and it's so, so exciting. What makes it doubly exciting is that three quarters of our trade, our exports now go into Asia. Three quarters of our tourism comes from Asia and three quarters of our immigrants come from Asia. It's a very exciting part to be integrated into. And so if Asia is the place to be and thank God we are. The bad news is we'll probably only have 150 years of such luck. Um, going to be there for a long time is what I'm saying, a very, very long time. You know, we're a lucky country to be now not only geographically in Asia, which of course we've been ever since uh, the Earth was created, but now as part of the most uh, uh, traded region for us uh, in, the, in the world. It appears that, that Asia is the place to be as far as the growth of the world economy is concerned, and it appears that Australia is, is very well placed to participate in that, that growth. Asia. But that part of the world is now easily the world's biggest uh, sector or biggest region. In fact, the Asia Pacific is bigger than the North America or Western Europe. In fact, the Asia Pacific alone will be bigger than both the North American and the European economy together by 2025. Against the backdrop of globalisation and our proximity to Asia, some of our manufacturing uh, has gone offshore um, and a lot of that um, uh, production is happening up in China. So we've got to make sure that we um, start to reposition ourselves for uh, the next um, 25 years in my view. So we've got some very good uh, medical science laboratories and some very good research going on in those areas and they're the kind of areas if we're saying that we can't be globally competitive on some of the lower end manufacturing, we should be looking at that high end manufacturing capability. We've still got a lot of key things that um, are very advantageous to us, we just need to work out the best way to harness them. So if we have an environment, a very aggressive and competitive environment in Australia, if, if we're benefiting from the boom in Asia, therefore lots and lots of opportunities are being created, lots of people are going to be get entrepreneurs, they're going to have a try, they're going to experiment and sadly they're going to be people that don't, don't, cut, don't cut it and they're going to fail. But in fact that's a good thing. At the end of the day what it's reflecting is a vibrant, competitive, uh, aggressive economy where people are prepared to take risks and um, for every everyone that fails others are going to succeed and new ideas and new businesses and new job opportunities are actually going to be created.